Hello YouTube, today I will show you a Shadol Invoked deck profile for the current format, April 2020. We start with the main deck monsters, Shadol ones. We have uh, three Rishadol uh, Wendy. It special summons from the deck uh, when it's flip summoned or sent by a card effect to the graveyard. It helps facilitate the combo, the main combo of the deck. And uh, in combination with Aerial, one Aerial of course, which uh, can, when it's sent to the graveyard, you get to banish three cards from either uh, player's graveyards. And also, uh, when it's flip summon, you get to special summon uh, Shadol banished monsters. So this helps, these two cards helps the combo and this is the new support, so pretty much the best support the, the deck could get. Uh, next, we have uh, head, three Hedgehogs, uh, is the Rota for the deck. Uh, Skimata is the Foolish Burial. Basically, when these cards are sent by card effect to the graveyard, the Hedgehog is a Rota. It helps you head, add a Shadow monster from the deck to your hand, and the uh, Skumata uh, dumps any card, any Shadow card to the graveyard. Two beast. Beast is uh, his flip effect is you get to draw two and discard one, and the second effect when it's sent by card effect to the graveyard you get to just draw one. So it's basically plus one in some situation because you get to to dump so much uh, shadow monsters to the graveyard once you get the pieces for the combo. Uh, the one dragon. I don't know. Maybe I'll bump this up knowing what the format will be. Dragon is pretty much the MST for the archetype. And also I like to play one uh, Shadow Falco. I, as I said, you get to dump a lot of cards to the graveyard. So at some point you just want to special a monster so you can have that extra monster on the field to make a window on your opponent's turn. And uh, having this two, which pretty much is dump and special summon, it's pretty nice you get to, to basically free monsters and yeah for the performance package one juggler and one clown you need them if you draw them you draw them if it so happens you get to dump them with uh shadow fusion then they're always pluses for hand traps uh three ash blossom the best one and two nibiru's two because as I said, you don't know what the format will be like. Of course, a lot of deck like the special summon a lot, but when you don't know with what deck is your worst matchup or what deck do you want to counter the most with your slots you have for the hand traps, I guess Nibiru is the best one. It rewards you so much. For the invoked engine, we play three Alistars. You need this guy when it's normal summon or flip face up. You get to add the invocation and also the hand effect is pretty good because you place the dolls which are also fusion monsters so you can trigger this guy hand effect when you get to discard and then target a fusion monster to bump his attack uh, and defense by a thousand to search alistair we have uh, three meltdown of course and also it makes your shadow fusion uh unashable let's say because yeah, your opponent cannot respond to use fusion summoning. Next, uh, just two invocation is searchable by let's say you have six ways to search this and to get this to your hand. And once you used it, pretty much you can recycle it. So three, you can play three, but yeah, it will happen one time you'll break. So two is just fine in my opinion. Shadow Fusion 3, of course, if your opponent makes the mistake to leave an extra deck monster on field and you have this, and you go in a plus so much just off of this one card. 3 Shadow Fusion, of course, you want to see one, of, one fusion spell in your opening hand always to start your plays. One Foolish, because Foolish Burial is pretty much every Shadow Monster effect you get to trigger with Foolish Burial, so yeah, super nice. 
the one uh, super polymerization you play anaconda also if you happen to draw it and you leave a shadow monster on your field you get to use your opponent like attribute light or dark to make construct or window so yeah it has double purposes and also with uh, anaconda you get it dumb just the super polymerization and fuse your opponent monster for free. Uh, two desires. Yeah, this deck can break. Let's say it's just can break. So two desires is enough. Three is too much. I always don't like playing three. At least it's some deck that I don't care what I banish. But in this deck, you do care what you banish because you if you banish your invocations, then okay, just half of your deck is unfunctionable. And the combo piece, the Rishadol uh, invocation to run out our main deck, 40 cards. Next for the extra deck, we have uh, one Almirage and uh, one uh, Secure Guard now. So you play this two just to get a light on, on the board. And just uh, the one Alistair, normal summon Alistair, you do this and then you... Uh, make secure guard now because it's a light and invocation and Alistair can end on a Makaba and s if you have the um the other combo pieces in your hand you get to like block getting Nibiru by having Makaba on the field and with the new master rule you don't need to have Makaba on your main monster zone no more so you can have it in your extra monster zone you can just place it in the main monster zone the one Verte Anaconda this card is busted like I OTK so much people with this just do this do your shadow plays and then activate this super poly or this first to make your opponent monster dark then super poly your opponent monster and this and just slam a 3000 body on board super nice the uh, cross sheep this car this card is busted it helps it pretty much Makes the combo possible with this card. Uh, one Alistair. If you happen to, let's say, burn your first invocation to special summon a Shadow Monster, then you need the other invocation for the extra negate with Makaba. Then you can use this. The one uh, Unicorn. Just to get rid of problematic monsters. Construct, because it's super nice. Winda to block your opponent. The one Epcalone, it helps in some cases when you have Super Poly or and the Quick Play Shadow Fusion. For the Invoked, you play one Makaba, one Purgatrio, and one Caliga. And for Super Poly Target, you just play one Star in Venom. Yeah, so that's it for the deck profile. This deck really got nerfed with the Master Rule and not getting touched. At all by the ban list so it's a pretty good pick for this format so if you made it this far you should really consider hitting that subscribe button and giving me a like and help me get to 1k and also comment what deck do you want me to do next